7,100 pounds on the nose as shown here. This is the new Rockwood 2707 WS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I love these new takes on rear kitchens. I've always liked rear kitchens. If you want to see if we have one of these in stock, how it is equipped, available, what we're asking, we have all that information published right uh, in our website. And you can access that via one click. It is in the video description that says check for price and availability. You'll see if we have one of these in stock, how it is equipped, what we're asking. We don't do hidden dealer fees. We have fair market uh, pricing clearly published. Um, this is a, a, an awesomely perfected floor plan. This floor plan's uh, been out there for a couple years and Rockwood really took their time. They've been doing this lately. They, they'll find a great floor plan and they spend about a year, year and a half perfecting it. And they make the best version of it the market's ever seen. And this is no, uh, uh, dip, you know, difference from that uh, mindset right there so it's a different take on a rear kitchen but it has an awesome middle living room if you will and they uh, they've done things here mostly on the inside that you'll see different that are just absolutely outstanding so Rockwood is and has been the number one selling ultralight in the USA for multiple years in a row now these guys are the kings of lightweights uh, you know, if what you're looking for is something that's half ton towable, but you're looking for super quality, you're looking for retirement grade, you're looking for the last RV you're ever going to own, Rockwood definitely fits all those descriptors. You see everybody and their brother is in the big front windshield craze right now. Rockwood's been doing that for years. When everybody else quit doing front windows, they always did. And they were one of the first to transition to a front windshield instead of a front window. Little detail thing I noticed in here I really want to point out though. This extra window that does open for ventilation next to the wardrobe slide up in the front bedroom. That is something not found on a lot of the Rockwood Ultra Series and I am hoping, I'm hoping it starts to transition its way into older floor plans. Due to space restrictions, you can't always get away with it. Now this has a fifth wheel style frame, something I I really don't see in a lot of other ultralights. I do see it on the Winnebago Mini Pluses that we carry here at Halet RV. Um, you know, the, every every brand is good at different things. Some brands do some things similar, but you know, none of them have the exact same uh, look, feel, fit, finish, anything like that. Um, that big drop frame storage is actually on a fifth wheel style chassis. If you get under and look, you can actually see where the frame drops down. Big old drop frame, uh, just like you have in a big fifth wheel. Now, this one is equipped with power stabilizer jacks. We've added the full color skin package. We've done some things to this. This is not a standard build. This is our preferred equipment loadout. But uh, there's different ways you can build Rockwoods, and it doesn't mean that the other ways are wrong. Different strokes for different folks kind of situation. If you like what you see here, but you'd like to see something a little different, give us a shout. We'll build you one. Uh, understand, though, uh, when you uh, dealer buys big orders of stuff like this, they get bulk discounts on things. So you'll never get one better than the one that's sitting on a dealer's lot. But if it just flat out isn't the one for you, no worries. Um, you know, uh, if you want to see what we have in stock, because it could be different from this, again, visit the link in the video description or contact our team here at Halet RV so that they can run you through what we have on hand. We always make sure our website matches up with our inventory. The video is just kind of generic. I knew someone was going to ask me what this little compartment was right here and why that there's a, a board or panel in front of it. It's actually a water pump and filter access for like winterizations and whatnot. But that's something Rockwood's always been good at. They give you outside access to your winterization methodology. Uh, uh, this is a fully aluminum framed product. Everything on this is aluminum framed. Everything is also laminated save for the floor, which is still aluminum uh, uh, skeleton with a tongue and groove 5 8 plywood uh, floor decking on top of two by three longitudinal aluminum studs. If you don't know what any of those phrases mean, please call us so we can educate you properly. I want you to understand what you're purchasing because this is not uh, the dollar, dollar cheapest ultralight out there. This is a very high level loaded lightweight. Um, actually, there are some uh, some luxury things in here that you don't even see in a lot of fifth wheels until you get to some pretty crazy money. So a lot of people are going to say immediately, whoa, hold on, that's a full three foot deep slide directly under the awning. Well, 
Uh, you know, I've taken a picture of this thing with the awning out so that you can get an idea for how much patio space out, is out there. But understand, you still have uh, more than enough patio space for a picnic table over here because look how long this awning is. They went with a monstrously long awning. So yes, it does cover that slide, but guys, it's like a free built-in slide awning cover. A slide awning cover on something that big, um, geez, that could, that could easily be multiple hundreds of dollars. I mean, you could be encroaching on four figures, actually. So you've got your outside TV hookups and grilling station over here. Um, a uh, outside grill with a little work table is an optional piece of equipment with Rockwood. Often we had those included, but again, not every single time. So always, you know, check our website to see what we have in stock or call our guys. Outside TV hookups uh, are those little black plugs right there. And that's your outside TV mount if you want to put a mount outside. Bigger, wider, 30-inch entry door, and it is friction sprung, uh, so it's not going to slam open in the wind. And they've done something very cool here with it, this door side, outside kitchen situation. But true to form with Rockwood, they always find a way to do it different. They've included an electric induction cooktop out here versus a, a low output gas grill. Understand, you do need a little bit different uh, like pots and pans to operate those things. But what's great about them, guys, if you got little kids bopping around, or if you're clumsy like me, like the moment you turn the heat off, it's cool. You know, you're not going to burn your hands on that. And then look at the prep space. What's cool is both the cooktop and this uh, countertop right here, they actually wing out of that uh, telescoping aluminum formed countertop there. And you still have dad's medicine cabinet where we keep the barley pop and bottled water. And then just extra bonus storage out here. So uh, citronella candles, bug spray, sunscreen, anything. You can have all your picnic stuff, picnic, you know, uh, table cover and all that located right out here. Plus, with a dinette, Rockwood's one of the few manufacturers that still gives you exterior access to under bench storage areas. And what I love about this is you get to see that whether it's under the bed, under the dinette, under anything that they build, Rockwood is fully aluminum constructed. Now you'll notice that even on that little door right there, We've got bus style slam latches. We've got magnetic catches so that the door is up and out of the way. Now your uh, big baggage doors here, they are actually swing open doors so that you don't have to deal with, um, you know, flipping open uh, cat or baggage doors and whatnot all day. The front end of this thing though, oh my good Lord. So full walk on roofing, you know, that full walk on zero flex laminated roof absolutely gets the job done. And again, up in your front bedroom, you're going to get all the light in the world. You've got a triple window bedroom and you do have an interior privacy shade. Speaking of which, let's peek inside. In a way, I like that they call this 2707 WS, meaning wardrobe slide, designating their bedroom. Instead of calling it an RK or an ML for rear kitchen or middle living. Because it's, it's such an interesting mix of different concepts, but man alive does it work. So it reminds me a lot of a 2804 um, open range ultralight or 280RK, which is a, uh, a model that actually I helped uh, develop in that it has that uh, smaller rear kitchen, smaller, smarter rear kitchen, but you've got a theater seat directly across from a generous entertainment center, and this also accomplishes that. The difference here is now we've got dual opposing slides, so the other thing this has is OMG storage. This has, oh my God, storage. This has, oh my God, storage. Look at this. It is, it's just huge. Like as deep as these counters are, to give you an idea, so to give you scope and scale, there's the size of the oven and whatnot, You've got nothing but pure, unadulterated, 100% access to all the storage area below. Now you've got the larger 22 inch oven that you find in the Rockwoods. That's all solid surface countertops. That's an eight foot wide countertop that's, I don't know, two and a half feet deep. That is generous prep space. And because it's solid surface, they could recess both the uh, stove as well as the sink to give you max prep space in here. Now, storage isn't done. We've got additional drawer below the refrigerator where a lot of brands tend to cut corners. They'll just put a panel or a knuckle buster drop door there and an in-slide big pantry space. But the fun doesn't stop. I don't know if you noticed, but you've actually got uh, a little extra uh, drawer, slide out drawer in the theater seat of this Rockwood here at Halet RV, which is something I've not seen from any other brand, be it, you know, Winnebago or Highland or Jayco or Keystone or anybody. And then the fun still doesn't stop there. So in a traditional rear kitchen, this is where your TV would be located. You'd have to crank your neck hard 90 degrees sideways 
And uh, if I'm being uh, political, that sucks. You know, <laughs> it just it's just not a fun arrangement. Now you've got this huge additional overflow storage pantry, anything, everything you want. All of this is pocket screwed lumber core cabinetry with real hardwood cabinet doors with the maple decor from Rockwood. You get real maple hardwood cabinet doors. And that's another thing to mention. I, I stressed it outside and I'll stress it again interior of the RV that this is an example of a 2707 that we've had here at Halet RV, not necessarily the 2707. You can put a stone print floor in here. You can have different wood tones. You can have different fabric decors. This is just one example of how you can outfit a Rockwood. And check this out. You got people outside taking a peek at her already. It's been here for minutes and I'm not even done with the camera work. Um, so this big TV, when you take a, uh, a seat on the theater seat, a lot of THs and Ss and stuff in there, a little tricky, you are on Boardwalk and Park Place. But let's say you're in the kitchen. Well, all you have to do is push that little button right there and bang, TV swings out. You can view it from the kitchen and that reveals the Legend of Zelda hidden storage chest behind us with dual level storage. You'll notice there's actually an extra shelf up there. Shine some light to give you some sense of depth and scale. The other thing this does for us is we can actually get to the back of the TV. If you want to add satellite, Blu-ray, anything, you can get to the back of the TV to do it. So this is one of the areas where I said Rockwood has perfected this floor plan over other versions of it that have existed previously. Other other versions I've seen have a lift up TV right here, which blocks some of the outside utility space, like the uh, extra storage in that outside kitchen we saw. They have a window there, but the problem with a the window there is the TV blocks it. So what Rockwood did is they moved uh, the dinette over to this wall so that you're getting extra windows and now you've got windows next to your seating. So when you sit down in the morning and have your bacon and eggs, bang! you're looking at the correct side of the, the campsite. Now remember that's all uh, aluminum skeleton under there. People sometimes ask, on the outside, you showed me how there's storage below that bench. Why didn't you show me storage below this bench? And that's because Rockwood makes it accessible from the interior here. So they kind of, they split the difference between inside and outside. And maybe you've noticed, but all of your drawers in, with this monstrous level storage, they're all plywood box, they're all full extension. Uh, that is a, uh, a floating dining table right there. So if you want to pull it out, you want to uh, ellipse it down, you can use it like a coffee table in front of this theater seat. It can fold down for sleeping. It can do anything, everything you want it to do. Now I don't use a trick camera lens. I don't need to trick folks into buying from Halet RV. I'm not going to deceive you into purchasing from us. I'm just going to give you good information. So that uh, vaulted roof that you're saying is really a vaulted roof. It's not a, a fisheye lens that I'm tricking you with. Now let's look up top. Full walk-on, double vaulted laminated roofing, fully aluminum framed, and a uh, big central ducted air system with double AC runs. You can see there's actually two air vents all the way down the entire run of the RV to give you maximum airflow. And I do like that extra vent up top right next to your hot heating uh, sources here in the kitchen. Um, big. A lot of brands are going to these wider fireplaces and I love it. Now, I've, I've talked to a lot of people, I like to stress that that is an electric heating fireplace. This is not a, um, like a gas fireplace. So you don't have to burn up your propane for extra heat. And again, with that entertainment center right there, directly across from the theater seat right there, nobody ever has to crank their neck to see inside this thing. Also, the, the big lighting package, that's something Rockwood does a lot of. They put a lot of windows and a lot of lights in their RVs so that when you come over here and you flip the switch, you can see all of the illumination that you're getting out of this. It is a drastic difference. Now, up front here, this is a fifth wheel bed and bath arrangement. If you look at any like half ton towable series fifth wheel, you will find this bedroom and bathroom because it is extremely efficient, effective. People love it. It gives you a ton of storage. It gives you lots of space. Uh, like as I walk through here, obviously you can see that you've got dual uh, bathroom entry doors because I just walked from one to the other, but you've got that big Forest River sink. Forest Rivers use that for many, many years, and I like that you can get adult hands in it. Rockwood also includes includes the bigger max air fan with a roof vent cover on their RVs and they do this across the board to give you maximum airflow and again on a rainy day you're covered. Now the bedroom closet slide also doubles as linen storage in the bathroom and you do have a sliding privacy door here so that you can close that and you know nobody is the wiser. The other thing I like is when you're traveling this bathroom door is right next to the main entry door so it's easy in easy out. As we come up here 
I, I'm going to draw your attention down real quick. There's awesome dual layer storage below the bed in the front uh, of your Rockwood Ultras. That's something they do across the board. Uh, it gives you an extra storage chest, extra drawers, all kinds of things. Now, what they've done here is fantastic. They made this look big, wide open. A lot of people are saying, yeah, but uh, where's my hanging closet storage? That's where you have all this over here. This is easily triple what a normal closet setup would be in an RV. And I'll open some of those up in a second. But before I do, remember you do have privacy shades for that big front windshield. But man, the extra light and brightness and sense of space and depth perception you get in here, plus the big wide open CPAP stands or phone chargers or whatever you want or want to use it for with the extra drawers beside for his and hers little personal storage. They're just fantastic. Now again, open these all hardwood doors. Now here... They have that set up for shelving, like a dresser type space. And over here, they have it set up for hanging storage, for long term, like uh, hanging clothes. And notice how tall these are. So you can actually hang long stuff in here, like I've got long legs, I have long pants. I can actually hang long pants for fall camping in here. Directly across from the bed, we've got our TV hookups. And I like that they actually uh, provided a satellite hookup run into the bedroom. And that is highly uncommon. Um,. What else am I missing? Oh, Wi-Fi Ranger. This has a built-in uh, like uh, Wi-Fi and cellular assist system to give you a, a local access point and signal booster so that you can maintain better, easier, stronger connection to all of your um, you know mobile data type things. This is cool. I'm I'm stoked. I like this. This is different. This is neat. This is perfected. Every square inch of this was custom combed to be the best version of a floor plane like this you've ever seen. And my friends, I do believe they have nailed it. But that's what Rockwood does. Anytime a manufacturer builds a floor plane, if Rockwood says, I'm going to do it better, they always do and they always crush the competition. So give us a call. Learn a little bit more. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.